So in this episode, we're going new pine versus old. What's up guys, I'm Nick, and this is Build Dead Build, a place where I'm reminded of that one line from Batman. What are you? I'm Batman. Not that one. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Yeah! All right guys, so I was recently at the lumber yard and I came across some antique pine. And I didn't know what that was. So I had to ask some woodworking bros and they told me that antique pine is like old growth pine. What that means is the stuff you get at the big box store a lot of times is farmed to become lumber. So as soon as it's tall enough, it gets chopped down and they mill it into lumber. Antique pine is a tree that has kind of lived its life, <laughs> I guess. So. I don't have a good way to explain to you the difference other than to just show you, okay? So here is a one by four that I picked up from the Deepers, all right? And if you look, it does have, you know, we've got some grain pattern in there and whatnot. Oh, light's killing me here. There we go. It's got some grain pattern in there and whatnot. Now check this out. Bam! Look at how different that looks. I'm still getting washed out. This is like, super dark you've got these great rings and stuff in here that just show up so much better so my question is if i take the torch to the antique pine is am i going to get a better result than the stuff that i get at the big box store because i mean honestly it's even it's even denser so what i'm hoping is that the soft cellulose material will still scrape out of here but the hard stuff will give us some really really good texture so in this episode we're going new pine versus old <laughs> and per my usual i'm gonna light these guys on fire we're gonna brush them we're gonna finish them and we're gonna see which one we like better now let's get to work senior puff puff has arrived. <laughs> so today we're gonna to be using my big grill blazer for no other reason than. <laughs> Let's get sticky. I was not expecting the amount of sap and the antique pine. I mean, look at this. It's just all over the back of that. It's all sap, which kind of hindered the burn a little bit. So I'm really kind of curious now. You can even see like this is kind of a little bit more matte and this is shiny. <laughs> okay, can we talk about the difference in these two already just with the burn in the brush? And look at that. Look at how crazy that green pattern is versus this one. Stuff when it's burnt like this, it almost looks like winge. A fool that doesn't glove up say what? What? Glove up. All right guys, it's the next day. Before we finish these, I'm going to knock back some of the dye on the whites and the reds with a little bit of steel wool. Basically, we just want to bring the blacks back out a little bit on some of the areas the dye may have gotten on a little bit more than we wanted it to. So we just come into an area that has like this acrylic dye and we're gonna bring it back so we get that black back out of there. So you can still see that, those blacks and the raised pieces. Okay, and I know some of you guys like to see these before finish, so here is, this is just regular old pine from the Deepers. Doesn't look too bad. And then, but check this out. Look at that. 
That's my favorite piece of wood right there, I think. Now, I gotta say, it is a little darker, but it's also richer with the, uh, the antique. All right, so now we're gonna take these out. We're gonna get a little finish on them so you can see what they look like with the top coat. All right, who's ready for some results? I know I am. <laughs> but first, I wanna say thanks for sticking around until the end of this video. I love each and every one of you. If you guys like this video and wanna see more like it, hit that like button. If you got something out of this video, please consider subscribing. It is absolutely free and it helps me out a whole hell of a lot. And speaking of people that help me out a whole hell of a lot, I would like to say an extra special thank you to all of my patrons. Thank you guys, I love you. You keep the lights on in the shop. Especially my top tier patrons or my Boilermaker patrons. Steven Mann, Eric Weiss, Derek Coates, Chuck Faulkner, Puffy Muffins, Zach Z, Jim Carter, and Andy the Viking. I'll be right back. Whew. I actually left my whiskey in the kitchen. What's wrong with me? Clinkies to my Boilermakers. I gotta say, the results were kinda not what I expected. You guys saw before finish. Now you could keep them not finished. And I mean, you know, you've got your weather protection and whatnot there. Um, so, I mean, you could really kind of get away with that look. And I kind of wish I would have not finished one just to compare it to the rest of them. Because once I applied finish, it's kind of a toss up on which one's better. I would say on some of them, the big box pine, pine looks better and some of them, the antique pine looks better. But let's check them out. Okay, first up is the boiled linseed oil. And this is just big box store pine and boiled linseed oil. Looks pretty good. Now here is the antique pine and boiled linseed oil. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's, it's definitely a darker result, but I say it's a toss up between the two because the color in this it has so much depth and warmth in it, especially with this the figuring that, I don't know man, I say it's a toss up. What do you think? Which one do you like better? Next we have big box store pine and oxblood red leather dye and, and whiskey. So let's see if we can get, get that a little bit better. Look at that. It looks really, really good. Again, I would say character of the wood, the antique pine definitely wins out. So check that out. But when you put them together, I mean, this one definitely pops more. So again, I almost say a toss up. I say if I had to pick one, I think I would pick this one for the red. But I mean, look at that. This is white acrylic leather dye, which I'm pretty sure is just paint, but they call it a dye. It's made by Feebings. And this is a really good result. This is the big box store pine. This is a really good result. All right, check this out. Bam! Look at that, dude. Oh my good jeezy wheezy. Look at that. The depth and the contrast it's so amazing. Don't get me wrong, man. This looks good. This just looks better. Oh, so good. But you guys tell me, which one do you like better? Do you like, do you like this one? I mean, like I said, it's not a bad result at all. So good. Look at that. Amazing. It was amazing. Better than cats. I'm going to see it again and again. That's how old I am. All right, guys, but you tell me what you think. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're interested in helping out the channel, check out the merch shelf down below or my Patreon page. Until next time, thanks for playing. And now I gotta get to work, kids. I gotta get to work. Now. No, the wood. A fool that doesn't glove up say what? What? Exactly! <laughs> well, shit, it works! That dog is about as sharp as a sack of wet mice. I come in and I'm gonna knock him down with a little bit of, a little bit of, hey, on Pimp Your Ride! <laughs> shit, I missed that show. Today on Pimp Your Wood. Now, see, that sounds like porn. Jim Carter and Alex the Viking. Andy the Viking. <laughs>